at this hour. New and shocking details emerging after a retired cop seemingly goes ballistic and guns down a young father for texting in a Florida cop theater. Retired cop Curtis Reeves defense popcorn. That's right. He says he acted in self-defense protecting himself against a bag of popcorn. Just an FYI, out to Martin Savage, CNN anchor and correspondent, one of my dearest friends, lives in Wesley Chapel. We have been to that cinema many, many times, Martin, and it's it's stunning because it's like the it's like um, bucolic. It's domestic serenity. It's like a dream area to live in. A very, very low crime. And that movie theater looks like it, it came out of an ad. And that's exactly right. Uh, that's how you can easily understand that this neighborhood here is so deeply shocked. The whole nation is absolutely stunned um, out of what appears to be this incredibly violent act over what seems to be a really minor offense, which is a father who is texting inside of a theater. It was Monday. It was at a matinee. It was during the film The Lone Survivor. You had about two dozen people inside of the theater behind me here. And at one point, you've got Chad Olson, who was apparently texting his babysitter to check on his two-year-old daughter. And right behind him is the man who is the suspect in this particular case, and that's Curtis Reeves. He's 71 years old, retired cop, and he's upset over the texting. He talks about it. They get into an argument. Reeves leaves to go talk to a manager, comes no, back. Wait, wait, wait. Witnesses say Martin, even more agitated. Martin, doesn't all this happen yes, in just the previews? I mean, we're not even into the movie yet, for Pete's sake. They're there watching, I think it was Lone Survivor, and you've got uh, Chad Olson with his wife, and he's the one that loves dirt bikes and his three-year-old daughter, and he's texting the babysitter to give messages to his three-year-old little girl. And then behind him is the 71-year-old retired police officer, uh, Curtis Reeves, and his wife. And isn't it true, Martin, before we can even get to the feature film, they're having words because um, right. Olson, I, I don't guess he was talking on the phone. He was just texting and the light was bothering everybody. Is that is that the deal? Right. And he said, look, he had a very legitimate reason. He was trying to get in touch with the babysitter. He loves his little girl. He wanted to check on her before the film began. You're right. It's in the previews. That didn't seem to in any way assuage the feeling of Reeves. He got upset. He left then returned. The altercation verbally got louder, and then at one point there is popcorn thrown, according to witnesses, and that is when Reeves pull out, pulls out a gun and fires one fatal shot. Oh, is it true, Martin Savage, everybody? Martin joining me right there in Wesley Chapel on the scene. Martin, is it true that, first of all, the 71-year-old retired police officer gets up and does he actually go and complain to the management about the texting? He leaves, and that's his intent. According to authorities that we've spoken to, he went to the manager, but the manager was talking to another customer, so they never actually spoke. Instead, apparently, Mr. Reeves, even more agitated, returns to the theater and begins to argue again. Okay, um, Martin Savage joining us and taking your calls there in Wesley Chapel. Overnight, the stunning defense has emerged. He's claiming it was um, stand your ground, self-defense, because he claims Olsen threw either popcorn or a bag of popcorn at him.